Okay, good morning. This is John Muldoon from the Watermark Group, and today I'll be showing you how to set up Google Analytics on your WordPress site. Uh, I have a quick spoiler alert. I'm going to skip one step that I would normally do, which is creating a new Google Analytics account. Uh, I normally do this when I'm setting up analytics for a client. Um, I know it's easier for web consultants to keep uh, all their clients' analytics in one place, uh, but there are a few things that can happen down the road if the client goes away, um, where it's nice to have the original account for analytics be separate. Um, it just makes the transition process sm more smooth. Okay, the, the main reason I'm not doing that this time is because I'm demoing on my own website. Uh, so here we go. The domain is johnlikes.com and I'm going to pop into the WordPress administrative panel, which I have open in another tab. And I've also already installed the plugin because that's really simple to do. Um, the plugin I like is Google Analytics for WordPress by Juiced DeVolk. Um, it's a good plugin. A couple of things I like about it um, is you can track external links. If you link to another site, it'll tell you that. Um, and if you have downloads, like if you have a PDF or something like that, you can track how many times it was downloaded. Um, a lot of them do that, but this is, and I'm by no means am I claiming this is the best Google Analytics account. If you know a better one, let me know in the comments. Um, but this is one I like a lot. So there's one thing you want to check uh, before you get started, and you want to go into Appearance and your editor, um, and you want to pop open the footer PHP file, and make sure before the close body tag that um, your footer file calls WP footer because that's where the plugin installs the tracking script and it needs to live there. So not all themes, um, or if you make your own theme, it's not always going to be there, but you're going to want it there or it's not going to work. Um, okay, that's just one of the more common things that can be a little bit strange. So I have another tab open with uh, Google Analytics open and I'm going to click add new account it's going to want you to sign up so you just enter your website URL and you can give it a unique account name if you want put your time zone and your country um, then hit continue. Read this. Okay, you just... Did you read that? That was pretty fast. Good job. Click yes. Create a new account. Okay, so you're going to do a single domain. Um, and say you want to track AdWords campaigns if you're using AdWords. If you're not, you can always add that later. Um, basically, you're going to go into this blurb of code here, and you're going to grab just this little piece where it says page tracker, and in front, in between the parentheses, there's a, a, little, a little alphanumeric key, and it usually starts with UA. So you're just going to copy that and hit save and finish. You still got that on your clipboard, so you're going to pop over to your WordPress admin and then go into Settings and Google Analytics and paste in the Analytics account ID that you copied in from Google Analytics. Um, I, yeah, just keep it in the footer. As far as tracking outbound clicks and downloads, if you want to do that, you should do that. Uh, and I'm going to show some of the advanced settings. It says track the administrator too. I'm going to uncheck that because I already know what I'm doing on my site and I don't want to skew my stats. Um, all these other things are fine. But if you wanted to track AdSense or things like that, you can do that. Click update Google account analytics settings. Okay, that's pretty much it. Um, it's going to say status is a warning sign. <laughs> it's sort of unnecessarily scary. Um, but after about 24 hours, it'll say receiving data. And you could check to see if it's receiving data. Um, 
by clicking check status. Yeah, and it doesn't it doesn't know it yet, um, even though it's in there. So that's it. Um, hope you've enjoyed this tutorial, how to set up Google Analytics on your WordPress site. This is John Muldoon with the Watermark Group. Thanks for watching.